all right guys so welcome back to cyber community and in this video we are going to show you that how we can install windows server it might be 2016 2012 2019 or might be 2022 which is the latest and in this video we will show you that how you can install 2016 and on the same path you can also install 2012 2019 or might be 2022 if you want so now there is only three steps what you have to do the first one is you have to download the file you have to configure it and you have to install it so let's start let's first let me show you that how you can download the file so windows server 2016 so you have to I will mention this uh, uh, URL in the description as well okay now you have to go in this download the ISO just click here now this page will come and it is asking for some information for downloading right so if you want to download you will have to give the information whatever they are asking so let's say I'm giving cyber community and my email address company name and country region is India okay where is my India Got it. Now, job role, uh, whatever the job role you have, let's say ethical hacking trainer and country code is you have to give your country code. So, my India one is 91, so I'm going to give 91. Okay, here it is India. And whatever the you you, uh, you have to give the okay let me give the number six three five three whatever the number you want to give uh, I mean whatever the number you have right exactly so two four six eight ten right and I'm going to just click on that download now okay which field is required okay company size right so I'm giving company size one uh, whatever the size you have so you can give as I'm downloading for the individual so I'm giving only one now click on download now see here now it is showing that you can you might be from Ch China you might be from German Germany may or might be from France or other part of the world right so whatever the suitable for you if you are Japanese right so you can download this one but uh, uh, we are taking it as a very professional one so not whole world uh, Google have all these and Microsoft have all these things uh, in ISO image that is Windows Server 2016 right so we are going to download in English that is United States so just click on that once you will click on it uh, that will uh, going to be start automatically so you can see here I already have downloaded this one so that's why it is showing the duplicate link right but once you will click on that it will directly is going to download let me show you I have already downloaded see here Windows Server data center right now this is the data center evaluation right so make sure whenever we will install it we will install as a data center evaluation okay let's go this is the first step is complete right download process is complete now the second one is we need to configure it so for that you have to open the your virtual box now virtual box is uh, already okay it is asking for something update of the latest version virtual box but as of now I'm not installing it now we what you have to do you have to click on that new okay give the whatever the windows you are installing so windows server 2016 from here you can select uh, whatever the things you have so for me it is windows 2016 right so i can select this one uh, let's say if you are uh, if you are having 2022 right so if you can see in this uh, virtual box there is no option of 2022 
so in that case you can select the 2019 okay let me select this one now I'm going in the expert mode so click on that okay it is again asking okay Windows server okay now memory size if you want you can give whatever you want but uh, I do have the 12 GB of RAM of my uh, host so I'm giving here let's say 4096 which is 4 GB RAM and that's it and you can just uh, click on that create now here you uh, you do have the virtual box disk image that is the ios file you already have now here if you can see the file size it is asking right so i'm giving here let's say 100 gb so i have given 100 gb and this is totally depends on you if you want to give 80 GB, 60 GB, whatever the, but it should be at least 50 GB. That would be a sufficient, I guess. Okay, let's create. Okay, that will be dynamically. Let's let me uh, give it to 80 only. That would be sufficient. 80 GB. So let's create it. Okay, now it has been created, right? But what you have to go do? Now again you have to go in the setting. Great. Now here what you have to do. Go in that uh, storage. Okay before that let's go in that general. And click on advance. And if you can see here shared clipboard right. So let's do it by directional. Great. and click on ok again just go in that setting again check it now it is by direction now you have to click on storage click on that empty and here click there and choose and create a virtual optical disk so let me create or add here so windows server sorry Go in the download okay we have selected this file right let's uh, we have clicked on choose and that's it let's click on ok and run it file is loading files So if you remember we do have that data center evaluation this one so we are going to select this one and click on next ok I accept ok go in that custom and we do have this 80 GB so if you want to make the new partition from that you can uh, you can do it but I am going uh, for that 80 GB only click on next and it will start installing now here it might happen that it will take uh, maybe five minutes just to install all these windows server.
operating device is ready so it has been installed and it is keeping ready the devices all or whatever the files are in that windows server and once it will install that might happen that it will automatically give the server manager and will show you that how actually we can manage it and also will show you that how actually uh, we are going to change the name of that computer so it is getting ready now Let's make it full screen. Now here, uh, it is asking for the password. So I'm giving the password name. Okay, let's give the password. given the name okay let's start it okay so you what you have to do you have to just give it go in that input keyboard soft keyboard and press ctrl alt and delete button right and once you will press it that will open for taking the password now give your password and it will open soon so it might happen that you know uh, just after installation when you enter the password it might take some minutes might be five minutes or might be uh, 10 minutes just to open so just wait for it and you will uh, get the result soon okay see here guys our server manager is automatically opening now what do you need to do here so you can see the local server right and before that let me uh, okay open something else okay it is a bit slow there is the explorer okay do you want to allow pc okay let's say yes okay now let me open the explorer first so go in this PC and right click here see this is all the 80 GB which we assigned this is the temporary file we have of 6.49 GB of that IOSA file click on the properties and our uh, windows is already activated right okay click again just go in that local server we do have this one right go in that local server and if you can see there is a computer chain a name right so we can uh, let's change the name of this one okay so here we got computer description computer name is this let me change it so here it is so cyber community right click on ok ok so it is telling that uh, once I will start then only it will show me uh, the change name so I just now I am not uh, uh, restarting it I am 
just closing it i will choose restart later right so it will change no, not a issue in that once you will restart it now it will automatically going to change so that's it in this video guys and i hope uh, that will help you and apart from that if you want to ch uh, choose your specific time let's say mine one is india right so i'm going to choose 5:30 time okay where is chennai kolkata here it is 5:30 right so press on okay that's it the time has been changed so on telegram channel you can ask your questions if you if you have anything thank you so much for watching guys bye bye take care